My name is Sophie Lassard and I was a dancer. I'm retired now and I really did that my whole life. I trained in New York with the uh, Balanchine School and I danced in classical for about 10 years and then moved on to contemporary and did all kinds of release techniques. And I taught a lot and I've done choreography, but always in the dance. So I've done many things, but within a small world. And um, throughout all these years of intense uh, physical activity, I have um, had a lot of problems with the arthritis and rheumatism with limitation in my mobility and my shoulders and my hips mostly and my back my lower back has been chronically bad from whacking my leg up and turning out and um, I've looked for all kinds of solutions in Europe in France I've seen um, Doctors, so I mean, what the Western medicine proposes to someone like me is either, you know, some kind of cream to put on when your muscles are hurting or your joints, or an operation to replace a joint. And I really um, do not want to be operated, and I don't want to fiddle with my body that way if, if I can help it. So I'm willing to try other things. <laughs> I've done, I've explored quite a few things and they've all helped me maintain a certain mobility but n not cure the symptoms whatsoever. So um, I have some friends who have been coming to this hospital at Saranya for the last seven years and who are very enthusiastic about the treatment. And so I decided to try this out, you know, not knowing if it would work because I feel I have tried out everything on earth. And so why not try one more thing? And uh, so I got here in the beginning of January and was met practically immediately by the, the medical team and Dr. Vino. And they asked me my medical history. So I gave them my medical history, which is this arthritis, but also osteoporosis, which is really pretty bad in my case. And I had hepatitis A, so my liver is not good. I had it a long time ago, 30 years ago, but I did a plant cheap treatment, which my liver hasn't been good ever since. And, and the medical team was very caring and patient and wonderful and um, accompanied me through that period with um, just a lot of generosity, listening, and also um, reacting very fast. So I felt uh, this trust that was building, you know, I came rather distrustful and there, gradually I came to a place of a lot more trust. And um, as time went on, I changed treatment, I got the main treatment. And I started feeling a lot of improvement in my lower back. Completely disappeared the pain. Uh, my shoulders are better. They're not completely better. My liver feels fine. I'm having an incredible diet here. So there's no way that it couldn't. But I, I, um, I, feel, I feel that everything is being addressed. And my nails are stronger. I have less hair less loss, so I know that my that is a good sign as far as my bones are concerned. And I um, I'm very encouraged about um, how this works. And I've slowly understood also that the that my idea was very narrow. The more I stay here, I'm just about to leave now, the more I realize that uh, how um, how, how it has embraced where, where I was when I arrived and how it's held me and supported me to um, take off when I leave. And that is a gift, a huge gift. And I would 
it's just a wonderful gift. And that I, I, I mean, I, I would love all of humanity to be able to share this gift with me. So, yeah, try it out. <laughs> it can, it's surprising. And what can I say? I can say that the, the, the medical team was so reactive to my ups and downs. The more deeply I got into the treatment, the more, uh, the faster the reactions were. When I slid a little down, when I slid a little up, you know, how much I could take, how much I couldn't take. And um, it was like getting to know, you know, getting to know someone. And it takes time, and they took that time, and they did it sincerely. It is, it has been a wonderful experience.